Okay, this is lesson 4.4, solving multi-step inequalities. So far, all the inequalities we've dealt with have just been one step, so we're going to start looking at somewhere we have to distribute, where we have grouping symbols, variables on both sides, things like that. So first, let's just look at what we do with equations with grouping symbols or variables on both sides. So on this first one, we would distribute this, and we would have 3c plus 12 equals 6. Um, so that would be, then we'd have to subtract 12, we would get 3, 6 equals, or 3c equals negative 6, divide by 3, and we would say, okay, c equals negative 2. Then we could check that by putting negative 2 in up here. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 equals 6, so we know we're right. Okay, so then... If I look at this next one, 2t minus 32 equals 5t plus 1. So on this one, I would subtract 2t from both sides. I would get negative 32 equals 3t plus 1. I would subtract 1 from both sides and get negative 33 equals 3t, divide by 3, and I would have t equals negative 11 as my answer. And so that would just be solving with an equation. So now let's look at, okay, what we, happens when we have an inequality. And actually, it's the exact same way except for that rule that we know of that if you multiply or divide by a negative, then you have to flip the sign. So on this one, I would subtract 5 from both sides, and I would get 4b is less than 16, divide by 4. So I didn't divide by a negative, so my sign's going to stay the same, and I would have b has to be less than 4. So I could check a number here, any number less than 4. So like, let's say I check 5, or 5 is not less than 4, I mean 0. So if I'm going to check 0, I would do 5 plus 4 times 0, is that less than 21? Well, I have 5 plus 4 times 0 is 0, so is 5 less than 21? Yes, so I know I did it correctly. So you guys go ahead and try quick check 1. This is, there's 3 of them on page 220. Hit pause now, hit play when you're ready to check them. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the three problems on um, in quick check one. The first one was, make sure you can see here, negative 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to 14. So on this one, I would add 4 to both sides. I would get negative 3x is less than or equal to 18. I divide by negative 3. So since I divided by a negative, you'd have to flip the sign. So x has to be greater than or equal to negative 6. So you could test any number here, any number greater than or equal to negative 6. So in this case, I would test 0 because that's an easy one to test. So I'd say, okay, does negative 3 times 0 minus 4, is that less than or equal to 14? So is 0 minus 4 less than or equal to 14? Well, is 0 less than or equal to 14? Yes. So we know that we did it correctly. Okay, so let's look at B. <coughs> Excuse me. I have 5, <coughs> excuse me again, 5 is less than 7 minus 2t. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides, and I get negative 2 is less than negative 2t. I divide by negative 2. So this is going to cancel, and now I divide it by a negative, so I have to flip the sign. So this one should be t is less than 1. And again, you could check 0 on this one because 0 is less than 1, and that's an easy one to check. For C, you should have had negative 8 is less than 5n minus 23. So here you're going to add 23 to both sides. And you get 15 is less than 5n. So divide by 5. And you have n is greater than 3. And again, I flip that around and write it with a variable first so you know that you're reading it correctly. Okay, let's go ahead and look at quick check 2 now. Or not quick check 2, but example 2, I should say. 
So here we have grouping symbols on just one side of the inequality. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute with those. So the 3x just stays where it's at. And I am positive 4 times 6, which is positive 24. 4 times negative x is negative 4x. It's less than 2. So I'm going to add up like terms. 3x minus 4x is negative 1x plus 24 is less than 2. So I'm going to subtract 24 from both sides. And I get negative 1x is less than negative 22. I divide by negative 1. I divide by negative. I have to flip the sign. Negative 22 divided by negative 1 is positive 22. So I have x is greater than 22. OK, so try quick check 3 now. This is at the top of page 221. Hit pause. Play when you're ready. Okay, first one is 4p plus 2 times the quantity p plus 7 is less than 8. So I've got 4p plus 2 times p is 2p. 2 times 7, you should have had 14, is less than 8. I add these up. 4p plus 2p is 6p, because they're like terms, plus 14 is less than 8. So I'm going to subtract 14. I get 6p is less than negative 6 divided by 6. Now, that's a negative 6, but I didn't divide by a negative, so the sign stays where it's at. So you should have had p is less than negative 1. So that was a. For b, it was 15 is less than or equal to 5 minus 2 times 4m plus 7. So I have 15 is less than or equal to 5. Negative 2 times 4m is negative 8m. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. So again, I have to add up like terms first. So 5 minus 14, I've still got the 15 over here, is going to be negative 9 minus 8m. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. 15 plus 9 is 24. So 24 is less than or equal to negative 8m. But now I have to divide by a negative. So when I divide by the negative, I have to flip the sign. And I want to rewrite this with the variable first. So you should have had m is less than or equal to negative 3. OK, now for c, you should have had b is greater than 3. b is greater than 3. So you distribute the 3, and you would have had 15 minus 3b. You'd add up the 15 and 2 to get 17. So then you do 8 minus 17, and you're going to have to divide by negative, which should flip the sign. So that's why it's b is greater than 3. OK, let's look at this example. So now we've got variables on both sides that we need to deal with. So I have the 8z here and the 3z here. My biggest tip on these ones is there's lots of different ways you can solve it, but I would always try to keep the variable positive, the coefficient of the variable positive, so that way you don't have to worry about flipping the sign. So like I wouldn't want to subtract 8z because then I get a negative 5z. So instead, subtract 3z from both sides because then you're going to maintain a positive coefficient in front of your variable, which is 5z. And then I'm going to go ahead and add 6 to both sides. So I get 5z is less than 18. Divide 5 on both sides. So you get z is, z is less than 18 over 5. And you can write that as a mixed number. z is less than 3 and 3 fifths. So go ahead and try quick check 4. This is also on page 221. There's only one of them. Let's go ahead and try that. OK, welcome back. We've got 3b plus 12 is greater than 227 minus 2b. So on this one, again, my goal is to try to keep the coefficient of my variables positive. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add 2b to both sides, because then I'm going to get a 5b plus 12 is greater than 27. So now I'm going to subtract 12. And I get 5b 
is greater than 15. I divide by 5, and I get that B is greater than 3. And again, you can check these. Um, pick any number that where B is greater than 3, and just plug it in like you could try 10. So 3 times 10 would be 30, plus 12 is 42. And is that greater than, this would be 27 minus 2 times 10, so 27 minus 27. Is 42 greater than 7? Yes, so you know you did it right. Okay, the last one we're going to look at is one that has grouping symbols, parentheses, and variables on both sides. So in this one, you're going to have a lot of distributing and adding like terms to do. So 5 times negative 3, negative 15. 5 times d is positive 5d. It's less than or equal to 3 times 3d is 9d. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, so again, goal is keep the coefficients of my variables positive. So I'm going to subtract 5d because then I'll still get that as a positive 4d. So I have negative 15 is less than or equal to 4d minus 6. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Negative 15 plus 6 ends up being 9 is less than or equal to 4d. I divide by 4, and it's positive, so no flipping. So I have d is greater than or equal to, and you can write that as 2 and 1 fourth. I would flip it around, so I get d is, ooh, this is negative 9. Negative 15 plus 6 is negative 9. So negative 9 divided by 4 is negative 2 and 1 fourth. So you would write that as d is greater than or equal to negative 2 and 1 fourth. So to check, you would pick any number. Um, that's greater than or equal to negative 2 and 1 fourth, I would check 0. That would be an easy one to check. Okay, so go ahead and do quick check 5, which is at the bottom of page 221. Hit pause and then play when you're ready. Okay, let's go ahead and see how you did. So I've got negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. Be careful with that. Negative or negative was positive. For this one, you should have had 7 times 2x is 14x. 7 times negative 3, negative 21. So I want to keep the coefficient of my variables positive. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. I get 24 is greater than or equal to 20x minus 21. I add 21 to both sides. I get 45 is greater than or equal to 20x. So I'm going to divide by 20. And you should have that x is less than or equal to 2 and 1 fourth. But again, rewrite it the other way x is less than or equal to 2 and 1 fourth, variable on the left. Okay, I hope this went well. Go ahead and rewatch any parts that you weren't sure of. Thank you.